New at 6, massive solar flares have many wondering about the impact they'll have on Earth. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay spoke with an expert at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. She joins us live there now. Jillian, when do they happen and what can we expect from these flares? Yeah, Dan, well, I'm told that there were seven solar flares in the last 24 hours. This increase in solar activity means that you may be able to see the northern lights overhead in North Alabama over the next couple of nights. But it also means that radio and GPS signals might not work the way that they normally do. But there is some good news here. I'm heard, I hear that you'll hardly even notice a difference, but there's always the possibility. And that's because solar flares or coronal mass ejections interfere with the Earth's power grid. They have strong magnetic energy, but one expert says this round of solar flare flares will be low impact. It's not something to be worried about. Um, you might see some disruptions in high frequency radio wave um, transmissions or maybe like GPS communications, that sort of thing. You can use protective eyewear to look up at the sun and see these flares over the next few days. There's also a chance you'll spot the northern lights right here in the Rocket City tonight or tomorrow night. But chances are definitely definitely not 100%. And now David says that you can also come out to the Space and Rocket Center tomorrow. If the weather's good, they'll have the telescopes out here again. You can view the sunspots, the solar flares through the telescopes you must pay admission. And of course, I'll have those details posted to waytv.com later this evening. I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.